is about the use of mobile phones to grade quizzes and multiple choice questions. It's uh, actually a, a repeat session of the one that I did during module three, but because uh, it was recommended, because there was an interest in this workshop by the PDU and the testing unit, so it's recommended just to repeat it. Uh, yeah, we will talk about using certain apps for grading the quizzes, grammar, vocabulary quizzes, even surveys. And we will talk about the speed, accuracy, and immediate data analysis such uh, apps provide. Uh, in this uh, workshop, we will talk about, uh, yes, we will have a short introduction at the beginning. Uh, we will give examples of some of the best grading apps available there. Uh, I selected one of the coolest apps, which is ZipGrade. We will just have a short uh, description about this app, <coughs> a live do demo, how it works, uh, the features of this app, and the disadvantages, if there, if there are any, the uses, and the practice session. Because we have a practice session, so you don't need to do anything with your mobile phones now, because we will have, uh, we will have it at the end. So, uh, you know, gentlemen, grading quizzes uh, manually, I mean, is a daunting task. It uh, requires time, effort, and uh, I mean, checking, matching the correct answers with the key, with the key uh, answer. So, there are, or well, there is a number of grading apps available on the App Store or on Google Play. I selected only three. Uh, ZipGrade is available on two platforms, um, App Store and on Google Play. Kudki is another cool uh, grading app, which is also available on two platforms. And the third one is Wise, which is only available on, uh, on the App Store. Uh, I will talk today about only one app, which is the first one, ZipGrade, because uh, it has many features. It uses forms similar to the ones that we use here at the ELI. Uh, and it's uh, less complicated than the other two. So I prefer this app for, uh, to be used. So uh, what is ZipGrade? Uh, I'd like you just to have a look at these two lines describing the app. So we noticed here the words instantly, immediately. So you, it means that you grade the uh, quizzes or uh, multiple choice questions in no time. It takes only uh, maybe a second to grade each paper. Uh, okay, so we need to know how it works. We want to demonstrate it. So for this, we need a, a quiz. We need a real quiz. So uh, I, I created a quiz, and um, because I know you are super in grammar and vocabulary, so I'll give you another type of quiz, which is a general information quiz about, uh, I mean, the information of this quiz is taken from this presentation. So this means that you, you have to guess, you have to use your intuition and uh, discretion and to answer the questions. Uh, I will provide you also with an answer sheet, so you have to shape the answers. You can use a pen or a pencil. Uh, I mean, if you, uh, I said you, you, you have to guess, so it doesn't mean that if you guess all the questions right, uh, you are allowed to leave the, the workshop, no. I, yeah, okay, so. Uh, so I admit for this uh, 
addictive, yeah? I have it ready 
here. So uh, I'm going to scan for it. This is very useful for the 50 and 100 uh, question form. So you don't need to manually enter the whole uh, answer. So I'm going to scan for the key for now. OK, so uh, as you can see here, we have four viewfinders. You have to align them to the four dark squares, as you can see here. So it's ready. So the answers are here, and the key. So I am going to use it. Now you just need to go back and start scanning. So I'm going to start scanning your papers. In the same way, so start uh, scanning papers. The same, you have to align the four viewfinders in the, uh, with the four dark squares. As you can see here, so the first one got three out of ten. Uh, yeah. Four out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> yes, six out of ten. Is that the three of features? <laughs> Four out of ten. Now, uh, now for this, he just tick the answer so it will not work. <laughs> Zero out of ten. So, here, Four out of ten. Yeah, two out of ten. Two. Okay, we will stop at this. Uh, Come on, stop, stop for embarrassment. Uh, I didn't ask you to write your name, so I know there is no need for embarrassment. So, uh, can I have your attention, please? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay, so brother, just look here, we have a chain student. We don't need it because it's used only with the 50 and the 100 question form. So we don't need this option here. We, we can erase the paper. So if I scan this, if there was something wrong, so I can erase it. I can review the paper. So I go and review this paper. Uh, as you can see, here in green means correct. X means there's something wrong in this question because maybe it is uh, there are multiple multiple answers, but he created only one. So what's yellow? Uh, yellow means it's part of the answer, but it has not been stated. Right? Okay. Okay. Now I can look here. Edit answers. So when do I use this edit answers? Now, for example, if someone shaded an answer, for example, this one, shaded D and he crossed it, so I'm going to go back and grade it again. So, it gets four now. So, review paper. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, the participant shaded D and he crossed it. So, what I can do, I don't need to grade it manually, so I can go and edit answers and remove the blue X from the one that the, the student crossed out. So this one, okay? So go back, the app will recalculate the total, and he, uh, uh, yeah, and the student got for five out of 10. Okay, so if we go back, yeah, now imagine that I'm done with grading all the papers, I graded nine papers, the uh, number of questions is there, average, yeah, about four hundred ten. Uh, this is the standard deviation. Uh, minimum grade was two, maximum was six in this quiz. If I need, if I want more uh, data analysis, so I can go to item analysis here, or I can go to uh, to see the papers, preview papers. So you can see here. The, part, the students' names, their IDs are all here. The grade, the scores are here. I can go and check everyone's, for example, answer. So I can navigate across the. Uh, the student paper. 
So, uh, I can go to the item analysis here. This is very important. Just have a look here. So, you can look, you can see here, this is the percentage of participants who answered it right. So, 66. So, it means that question number one was easy. Uh, I mean, uh, relatively easy. Now, question number two, zero. So, it means that it was a very difficult yeah, question. So, this helps me, I mean, in giving feedback to the students. Which of the students? Uh, again, question number nine, question number ten, yeah, very difficult. Uh, question number nine was very easy, uh, seven, sorry. So, but uh, everyone got it right. Okay, and if you want to see who, I mean who, for example here, I have uh, one, I mean ticked answer A, two, B, seven, C. So I can go and see who are these uh, so see here, these are the participants who I will answer uh, question number seven, uh, shaded C. Uh, here, these are who answered, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, D, okay. here, yeah, A, here, D, here, B, and C, yeah. here, B, and C. I can see that. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, features of the zip grade. So let's go to the presentation again. Yeah, okay, so these are the features of the app. So there are free answer sheets available in the internet. So you can just go to the website and download them. Up to 100 questions. So you can use the 20 question form, or the 50 question form, or the 100 question form. Uh, so this is the 20 question form, the one we use now. Uh, this is the 50 question form. And you can see here, here is the uh, student ID. So you can add student ID and recognize it and uh, display the name of the student. Here the 100 question forms. Uh, it uses student ID, as we said. Okay. <coughs> it works without internet connection, so you don't need uh, to be connected to the internet. Uh, the data will synchronize if you set up an account with this uh, in this app. So data will synchronize with your cloud account. So you can uh, browse it from anywhere. Also, you don't need to press any button. Just you focus it, and it will automatically uh, I mean, do the job. Uh, students can use a pen or a pencil. You can manage the students and class information. You can export the quiz, the results into Excel or PDF format. So that either to do more analysis or to, I mean, if you want to send them to your students via email or something, so you can export them into PDFs. CSV is excellent. 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 Uh, it's quick, as we saw. Just it takes about a second to focus and to grade the, each paper. Accurate. I mean, maybe up to 100 percent and organized. We have data analysis and item analysis. Uh, it uses multiple answer sheets. Uh, for the pricing, yeah, the paid version is $10 on App Store, $7 a year on Google Play, and the demo version, uh, you have 100 demo scans for free. Then, uh, th there is a hack. Uh, I'd like you just to read it and that's what I was Yeah, it's recommended. Yeah, once you are satisfied, once you find it, uh, 
I need the brick app for you, okay, so you can go and buy it. Okay, uh, now some of the disadvantages is that it cannot mark the correct answers on the paper. So what, what, what can we do? Uh, any suggestion? What can we do in this case? Take so, a picture. Take a picture. Yeah, sorry. Take a picture. Okay, so this is one, one idea. So you take a <coughs> screenshot and send it to the student. So, so it could automatically save the picture after you scan. <coughs> so you don't need to save the picture each time. So well, what I usually do, I go to review papers and see each student and I just write the, 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 the score on the paper and hand it to the student. So this is what I do. Uh, okay, so I grade the papers, write the scores in the, on the paper, give the students their papers and show the answer key on the, on the project. And, uh, and just tell the students. This is, these are the correct answers, so just check which ones you get right and which ones you get wrong. So this is what I do, yeah, but you can export them uh, to PDFs and send them here. But if a student doesn't uh, like his peer uh, to, to see his mark and to his assistants? No, here I am showing the model answers. I'm not showing the model answers. Yeah. So the students are showing only the model answers. So you can check it in, uh, I mean, uh, by yourself. Uh, this is another idea. You just take a screenshot. So this is what I did with my students. I take a screenshot and I send it to my students uh, on WhatsApp or their email or anything. Uh, another disadvantage is it's money out of pocket, although it's not a large price to pay. Uh, you can use it for, you can use is it great for formal quizzes, AI, grammar and vocabulary quizzes? You can use it for informal quizzes. Yeah, for example, uh, end of module revision or uh, I mean, when you finish certain units, so you can give the first students informal quizzes, multiple choice questions, and give them this uh, use, I mean, zip grade with this. You can use it with surveys. I'll show you now how to use it for surveys. Now, for example, we want to use this uh, 20 question form uh, for, our, for a survey, for a certain survey. So all I need to do is, I mean use, uh, I need to use an image editor. And, okay, and delete this part. And then I write the the scale that uh, I need, for example, this one. A strongly agree, B agree, or whatever. Okay? So uh, when, you, when you are done with grading the, the quiz, you just export the, the, the results into uh, an Excel file and do the analysis. So it's an easy way to, to do uh, surveys. Uh, yeah, what do the colored circles mean? So the green, blue, Orange or um, uh, excuse me, how do you Yeah, this is using an image editor. So you just using Microsoft Paint or any image editor. You just remove this part. Yes, yes. And, but uh, a note uh, to be said here yeah, don't mess with the dark, I mean, squares here because they are used to align the, the paper. So you just you can only delete this part and add whatever you want to the survey. Okay, so uh, here are the explanations of the uh, different colored circles. We just have a look. Answer is wrong. Green C means the answer is yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, how to deal with cross outs? As we saw that, uh, for example, that you uh, participant who crossed one answer, so I can go and 
Yeah, uh, edit the answers and just remove the X from the, the one the uh, student, uh, I mean, crossed out. Uh, creating classes and creating students. So we will go back to that. Okay, now, for example, if I am teaching two sections, I can go and create classes. So I will go to classes now. So it's very easy. Just here, new class. And just add the name of the class. For example, I am teaching 104 ABC. Okay, so I added a section to that. So I can just uh, create uh, quizzes and add them to this section. I can create students, although we don't need it with the 20 question form. We, need, we can use it with the 50 question form or 100 question form. So you can create students in the same way, new student. So the first name, last name, zip grade ID. This one you can change it or you can leave it as it is. External ID. You can use the student's university ID. So this is the one that they have to shade on that uh, answer sheets. And once you are done, just click OK. So the student uh, account will be created. Uh, what else? You can set up an, a cloud account. So you can just navigate uh, your, uh, I mean, the results from your laptop or uh, I mean, yeah. You can synchronize your uh, data. Okay, so let's go. Now we come to the practice session in which we will grade each other's. Uh, uh, yeah, we will grade our uh, papers and each other's papers. So I'm going to give you this worksheet so in this worksheet all the instructions all the things that you have to do are listed here so you just need to follow them okay so i think 15 minutes <laughs> we'll give him eight so you have to go to edit the answers Remove the blue X's from the, the ones he crossed out. Uh, using the same, the, the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> 